A pod of dolphins is happily playing near the water's surface in the North Pacific Ocean on a sunny day. They're about as happy as can be until the surface of the water begins to ripple. It becomes more pronounced, like a possible tsunami or an underwater volcano preparing to blast. Their instincts tell them to hightail it out of there, but they don't know which way is the safest path out. Abruptly, a tremendous roaring sound fills the air. The water explodes outwards as a giant whale bursts into the air. Hello, Mama! Wait, that's no whale. It's an ichthyosaur, a giant sea dragon type monster from the Triassic period. It's a massive 55 feet long and weighs 45 tons. It doesn't look too dissimilar to a dolphin, but this sea monster isn't any cousin. The dolphins scatter back beneath the water. Fortunately for them, the ichthyosaur is not interested in having them for lunch. It's merely playing as well. This particular species is far more used to eating marine mollusks, smaller fish, and squid. But there's nothing in sight, so it disappears back below the surface, swimming majestically with its huge fins and long, eel-like tail. It had once roamed the land, but like other prehistoric land reptiles, including modern-day whales and dolphins, it returned to the sea and evolved over millions of years. Its limbs have been transformed into flippers, some species had digits on their flippers, or phalanges. They could almost pass for human hands. Well, hello there. Some possessed a dorsal fin. Their heads were pointed, and their jaws contained conical teeth to catch smaller prey. They had large eyes, probably used for seeing in deep waters. Their tail fin made for a powerful stroke. Like some other sea creatures, they could breathe air and were warm-blooded. They were sleek and as beautiful as some of today's ocean creatures. Unexpectedly, an underwater time vortex opens in front of it, sucking in everything in its path like an underwater black hole. The ichthyosaur disappears inside, flailing about, unable to control its journey back into the deep past. Soon, it spat out again into its own natural timeline of the Triassic period during the early dinosaur age, approximately 247 million years ago. It swims with others of its kind. They lived in herds or hunting groups. While varying forms evolved worldwide, such as the smaller Myxosaurus, let's stay with this one because it will eventually find its way into modern human hands. In evolutionary terms, the ichthyosaurs lasted for a very long time, millions of years. There are many complex factors involved with how they became extinct, but in simplistic terms, environmental changes brought out declines in smaller food groups and more brutal predatory groups. Some fish had evolved as well and became too fast for the ichthyosaur. So we will leave our poor friend here, unable to find enough food and losing out to the tougher competition. It's hungry, tired, and weak. It simply drifts away with the currents, eventually finding itself resting on the ocean floor. Millions of years passed. During the Triassic and Jurassic era, sea levels gradually ebb away, exposing vast regions of the desert. The area we're focusing on became Nevada, in the western part of the United States. During the Cretaceous period, a volcanic island chain formed. Geological upheaval continued, bringing the ocean floor up into modern mountains. Embedded in the rock, well, you can guess, not only ancient invertebrates, but more modern creatures, such as mammoths and giant sloths. What an incredible array of wildlife. But we're not here for them today. Let's find out what happened to our friend. Jump forward in time again to 1998. The place, the Augusta Mountains of northwestern Nevada, or more specifically, a place called Fossil Hill. Protruding out of the rock were a few vertebrae. Researchers could tell whatever creature it belonged to, it was clearly enormous. It was so embedded in the rock and complex that the excavation took many years. In September of 2011, the excavators found more of the beast, the well-preserved skull, forelimbs, and chest region. It wasn't until 2015 that the now obviously giant ichthyosaur could be fully extracted. The surviving fossils were a skull the size of a fully grown man, a shoulder, and a flipper-like appendage. Even then, it took a helicopter to move it. 
the team named the new species Symbospondylus youngorum. Symbospondylus is a Greek word meaning spine. Let's call this one Ichthyosaur spiny from now on, because it should have a name by now. And let's face it, it's a lot easier to pronounce. Spiny was airlifted to the Natural History Museum in Los Angeles and further shipped to the University of Bonn in Germany. The study was undertaken by vertebrate paleontologist Martin Sander and his colleagues while collaborating with the University of Mainz. It was a unique and truly electrifying find, as the marine reptile was the largest animal ever discovered from this time. As far as we know, stated Martin Sandler, it was even the first giant creature ever to inhabit the Earth. You can think of Spiny as the underwater T-Rex of his time. He's also quite remarkable, as his type lived only three to five million years after a mass extinction event, known as the Great Dying. It happened roughly 252 million years ago. It took out approximately 90% of the world's life forms. What caused it? The short version is elevated temperatures and increased acidification in the oceans. Once one part of the food chain extinguishes, it causes a domino effect, as you can imagine. Soon, there's little left to eat, and only the sturdiest can survive. The atmosphere also had high levels of carbon dioxide. Theories argue that giant volcanic eruptions caused this in Siberia, known as the Siberian Traps. It was the largest volcanic eruption in the past 500 million years. The eruptions lasted a staggering two million years. Large volumes of basaltic lava covered a large area of Siberia. Even today, the site is covered by about three million square miles of basaltic rock. Other theories say that an asteroid caused the great dying, rather than the volcanoes. In any regard, the impact was the same, and 81% of Earth's marine species and 70% of the land-based vertebrae species were no more. There have been numerous mass extinction events, but Spiny's size and existence are extraordinary compared to the Great Dying. It usually took nine million years for species to recover and grow to this size, but he came into being in less than half that time. Using sophisticated computer models, the researchers examined the likely food web running through the area now known as Fossil Hill. They recreated the ancient environment through the available data, finding that marine food webs must have supported giant creatures like the ichthyosaurs. The theory is that our spiny fed on a diverse and rich diet of marine mollusks, known as aminoids, that flourished from one to three million years after the Great Dying. The now extinct ammonites filled the ecological void following the mass extinction and had excellent living conditions without much prey to interfere with them. Ichthyosaurs also evolved rapidly because they were the first more giant creatures to populate the world's oceans. The mollusks they fed off were also exposed to less competition. Spiny had a massive food supply. He chowed down like there was no tomorrow. Unlike whales that become large due to eating foods like plankton, Spiny and his fellow species grew big on the ammonites, and it took them a much shorter time. That's a good message for you kids to eat healthily. The exciting thing for us today is that these results show that marine ecosystems can build up and respond well to such dramatic changes as climate, atmosphere, or water conditions. They may have had different pathways, but some ichthyosaurs and whales have similarities. They both have large sizes and a lack of prominent teeth. Sperm whales dive deep to hunt giant squid. Spiny hunted similarly. They use a type of filter feeding to extract the food from the water. Our friend likely ate fish and possibly squid and ever smaller ichthyosaurs. Ouch. Other ichthyosaur forms had lots of teeth with a skull more like a giant lizard. They had razor sharp teeth. Ichthyosaurs swam the ancient oceans for nearly the whole of the dinosaur age. Ichthyosaur fossils have been found in many other countries, such as England, Norway, Japan, Germany, Colombia, China, and Australia. They were the underwater planet rulers of their day. As the sun sets 250 million years ago, we might imagine Spiny having a better outcome than he ultimately did and popping his head out of the water to watch the orange hues of the pristine sky. He pauses for a moment before, once again, dipping underwater to join his friends, swimming happily away with the herd, looking for food and adventure in the deep blues of the Triassic Ocean. <laughs>